Yeah, about you. Good. I'm Holly. I'm going to be your nurse. We're just going to do a physical assessment for you today, okay? Okay. Right now, I'm just assessing your skin. I just want to make sure that you are having good vascularity, that you're well hydrated by testing your skin turgor. Okay, I want to make sure, I want to test your capillary refill. Let's see. And it should be less than three seconds. And it is. Checking for any lesions. Okay, I want you to do this right here with your nails. This is the shamrock test. That angle in there should be less than 160 degrees. If it's greater than that, then it could indicate a respiratory issue or clubbing of the nails. Okay, I'm just going to look at your hair. It should be soft. It sh there shouldn't be any absence or excess of hair. It should be evenly distributed. While I'm doing this, I'm looking at your scalp for any lesions as well. Moles, lumps. Okay. Okay, I'm going to palpate your skull. I just want you to tell me if anything is tender, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm then going to look or feel for your, um, your glands. Okay. Okay, so we have submandibular, submantle. We have the deep cervical chain, posterior cervical chain, superficial cervical chain. I'm going to do on this side. Deep, posterior, superficial. We have the occipital back here, preauricular, postauricular. I'm going to palpate your frontal sinuses. Your maxillary sinus. Does that hurt at all? Okay. Is it? If you had had a sinus infection, it might be a little tender. And then I'm gonna just get you to press against my hand for me. Okay. This is just assessing your accessory nerve. That's cranial nerve 11. And then show your shoulders. Okay. Okay. I want you to take this sip of water, and I want you to lean your head back, and I'm just gonna palpate or look at your trachea, and then I'm gonna palpate that. Good job. You can hold on to that. I'm going to palpate the trachea. Okay. Okay. I want you to take another sip of water. I want you to just lean your head to the right for me. And swallow. And I'm just palpating your thyroid gland. And you can do it to the other side. Go ahead. Okay. Did that hurt at all? No, ma'am. Okay. There's one thing I had forgotten. I want to pal I want to also palpate your supraclavicular lymph nodes and infraclavicular lymph nodes. Okay. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and look do look at your eyes. Make sure they're symmetrical. Your nose labia folds are symmetrical. Your ears, um, no lesions. We'll look at your eyes first. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to shine this light here. I'm looking at the cornea. The lens. Okay. Okay. And your your pupils they should be equal. They should be round. They should react to light and they should accommodate. First thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure that your eyes can accommodate. Okay. Okay. I want you to look at the tip of this pen. Okay. Now focus on something behind me. Look at the pen again. Focus on something behind me. They do accommodate well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do what's called the corneal light reflex. When I shine this light into your eyes, your pupils should constrict. And it did. That one did as well. And then I'm going to do what's called a direct consent from both of your eyes. We're going to hold, I'm going to hold my hand here. When I shine my light to this side, both people should react to this light, okay? Okay, now I'm going to do this eye. Good job. Okay, now I'm going to test your cranial nerve 3, 4, and 6. That's oculomotor, trochlear, and then abducens. What we're going to do, I'm going to get you to look at the, we're testing your six cardinal movements of your eye, okay? okay. I'm going to make an H with my finger, and you're just going to follow with your eyes. Don't move your head. Okay, good job. Okay. Okay, I'm then going to go ahead and I'm going to do test cranial nerve um, two. Okay. This is optic nerve. What I want you to do, I just want you to read like these, the first two sentences, okay? Okay. Use and 
impregnated swab to clean the catheter, put it around the catheter and exit site and work it toward the injection cap. Good job. Now let's test in your optic nerve. Another test for cranial nerve 2, the optic nerve, is the peripheral vision test, okay? I want you to cover either one of your eyes for me. Okay? You can stand. Okay? Okay? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to move my hands down, my finger, and I want you to tell me when you see it, okay? Okay. Now. 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 Okay? Okay, now cover this eye. Okay? Now, 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 now. Okay, and I'm going to do it from this way. Ready? Now, 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 now. Okay, and that also tested optic nerve, okay? Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is test for lazy eye. Okay? I want you to just hold this in front of your eye, and then I want you to focus on my finger when you remove that. Okay, do the other. That was good. If you had lazy eye, your eye would kind of drift off into space a little bit. Okay? Okay? Now we're going to do... I'm going to go ahead and do your nose, okay? Okay. I want to just... I'm inspecting. I'm looking at your nasal labial folds. Tilt back for me a little bit. You don't have a deviated septum. That's good. I'm going to check the patency. Blow. And blow. Okay, and now we're going to test your... Olfactory nerve, that's cranial nerve one. What I want you to do, I want you to close your eyes. I want you to include one of your nostrils, and I want you to tell me what you smell, okay? Okay. So, good job. Oh, I didn't mean to drop that on you. <laughs> didn't feel it. Okay. Go ahead. Good job. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do. So we're going to check your ears, okay? okay? I'm going to just look at the ears. You don't have any piercings, I don't see. I'm going to palpate the auricles. And I want you to let me know if anything hurts, okay? Okay. And the tragus. Okay? Now we're going to perform the vestibular, or the Romberg test to test vestibular cochlear nerve. That's cranial nerve eight. Okay, so I want you to stand up for me. I want you to hold your arms out. Close your eyes and then you can lift up a leg. This is just assessing your balance. Water swaying is fine. And then you can do the other leg. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Good job. Okay, you can sit down. I'm just going to inspect your ears. I'm going to pull up and back. Okay. And I'm just looking at your eardrum. It should be pearly gray and it is. Pulling up and back. Okay, and it should be pearly gray, and it is. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're doing a test, it's the Weber and then the Rene test. First we'll do Weber, Weber test. This is testing bone conduction. Okay. When I strike this, I'm going to stick it on your head, and you should hear the sound, and you'll either hear it one ear, or another ear, or then, or both ears. And I just want you to tell me what one, how to hear it, okay? Okay. actually equal. Okay, that's good. Okay, now the Rene test is actually kind of, um, it's a test to test bone conduction versus air conduction. Okay. I'm going to stick this on your mastoid process and then I want you to tell me when you don't feel it anymore. Okay. I'm then going to let you listen and what should happen is you should hear it um, for twice as long as you feel it, okay? Okay. Show is eight to sixteen. So that's pretty good. Was 
seven to 21, so that was good. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is, throat. we're gonna look at your mouth, okay? I'm just gonna put on my gloves. Get a tumbler. <coughs> I forgot to put anyone out for it. You're fine. Okay. Okay, I want you to open your mouth. Okay. I'm going to get this pin light and I want you to say off. Oh, uh, okay, and I was just watching your uvula rise and fall. Not test the vagus nerve, that's cranial nerve. Attack with teeth, make sure you don't have any loose wiggly teeth. Gonna no no locate the Stinson's and Morton's ducks. Okay? <coughs> I'm gonna test your tongue strength for your meal, okay? I want you to just stick out your tongue, move it to the side, move it to the other side, move it up, move it down. Okay, and that was just testing the hypoglossal nerve, that's cranial nerve 12. And then I could have also tested your gag reflex. And then that would have tested um, glossopharyngeal nerve. That's cranial nerve. No. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do. One thing I didn't get to. I didn't do earlier. Um, I want to ch check your facial nerve. Cranial nerve seven. So smile for me. Bring on. Puff out your cheeks. Okay. Good job. Okay. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do um, thorax and lungs, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to be looking. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, I'm looking. I want to look to make sure I want to look to make sure that your AP configuration is one half of your transverse and it is okay 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 I'm gonna then palpate the thorax let's turn just a little bit. Anything hurt? Okay. Okay. I'm then gonna um, check for expansion, lung expansion. Okay. I want you to take a deep breath in. My hands are expanding because you're having you have good lung expansion. The other thing that we're gonna test is the um, tactile formatus. Every time I touch your back, I want you to say 99 for me. Okay. Okay. 99. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, good job. Okay, I'm now going to percuss. Okay, good job. Okay, I'm going to percuss. Okay, good job. touch your back. I just want you, you don't have to take too deep of a breath. Just take a deeper than normal breath, okay? Okay.
called the bronchophony test. Okay. Every time I touch your back with a stethoscope, I want you to say 99, okay? Okay. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Good job. And the breath sounds that I heard, you have breath sounds in the front as well. You have the um, um, tracheal, bronchial, bronchovesicular, vesicular. Okay. And back here, there is no tracheal breath sounds. You have bronchial, bronchovesicular, and then vesicular breath sounds, okay? Okay. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do, I'm just going to get you to um, lay down. There, back on me. Okay, now we're going to, um, I'm going to do your heart. That's the first thing we're going to do. Okay, um, the first thing I'm going to get eye level, what I'm looking for, I'm just looking if I see any thrills, vibrations, or pulsations, um, which would be abnormal. Um, I'm then going to palpate, okay? okay? What I'm doing, like, right, let's see, this is your right sternal border, okay, at the second intercostal space. You have your aortic valve, okay? Aortic. On the left sternal border, second intercostal space, you have the pulmonic valve. Okay, on left sternal border, third intercostal space, you have herbs point. Left sternal border, fourth intercostal space, there. That would be tricuspid valve. And then left sternal border, fifth intercostal space, you have the space, you have the tricuspid valve. And we're going to go out to the midclavicular line, okay? Okay, and I'm just going to listen to your heart sounds. What I should be hearing at aortic and pulmonic, at the aortic and pulmonic region, S2 will be louder than S1. Okay. At herbs point, both sounds are equal. And then at tricuspid and mitral valve, those um, sounds, S1 will be greater than S2, okay? Which one's tricuspid, which one's mitral? Tricuspid, mitral. Okay. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> Just listen in regularly. I'm now going to listen with the bell for any breweries. Okay, and that's good. And if I'd heard any like swishing sounds, that would indicate that there's probably, you're going to probably have a heart murmur, okay? Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is. I'm going to um, check your pulses, okay? Okay. We've already checked your carotids and your um, temporal. I'm not sure if I also will tell you those, so I'm just going to go ahead and do those again. For any breweries. And I'll also auscultate over the thyroid gland for any breweries. The other pulses that I'm going to be checking, I'll check your brachial pulse. And your radial pulse. Okay, I'm going to check your dorsalis pedis pulse. And then post to the alice pulse. Good job. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do, um, I'm going to check your abdomen so you can lay back down for me. Again, I'm going to get eye level. I'm checking for any pulsations. You have a more concave shaped stomach. Um, and I can kind of see your aortic pulse just because you're thin. Okay. Okay, I'm going to draw like an imaginary um, 
vertical and horizontal line at your umbilicus, okay? And that divides your quadrants up into the right upper, right lower, left upper, left lower. Okay. And I'm just going to listen for, what were those again? The quadrants, right upper quadrant, right lower quadrant, left lower, left upper. I'm just going to listen. Okay. I'm then going to auscultate for any bruise at the aortic point, your renal arteries, sorry, <laughs> your iliac arteries, and then your femoral arteries are down there. We're not going to listen to those. Again, I shouldn't really hear anything with the bell. Okay. All right, Courtney, I'm now just going to um, percuss your, the abdomen in all quadrants, okay? good sign. If I had felt it, it would indicate maybe some inflammation. We're going to do the same thing with your spleen. Take a deep breath. Okay, okay good job. Okay, I'm now going to um, find your liver borders, okay? So I'm going to come out at your umbilicus, and then I'm going to percuss outward. Well, upward. Until your dullness. Okay, I'm now going to find your fourth intercostal space, which is about down here, and I'm going to percuss until I hear a dip, a change in sound, okay? And mark that, and then I'm going to measure it. It should be two to four inches. Yours is about three inches, okay? Okay. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is neurological system. Well, first we're going to deeply palpate. You can sit up for me. Okay, neurological system. Okay, um, I'm going to first just check your orientation or, or your, if you're oriented. Okay, so can you tell me your name? Courtney. What's today's date? April 17, 2014. Okay, where are you at? I'm at the nursing building. Okay, so you're alert and oriented times three. I'm then going to um, assess recent memory. I'm going to give you three words. Okay. I want you to remember those until... Um, the end, I'm going to ask you again, okay? So, light, TV, and car. Okay? Okay? Um, I'm going to assess your present memory. Who is the president today? Barack Obama. And in your past memory, what is your date of birth? 129.93. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do, um, I'm going to assess your cerebellar functioning, okay? First, I'm going to assess abstract reasoning. Okay, <laughs> abstract reasoning. So, um, I'm going to give you a saying. I want you to tell me what it means, okay? okay. Um, the early bird gets the worm. It means that those who were 
more um crap. <laughs> Basically, then, those who get up and actually get get to what they're doing, they're motivated. That's okay. Good job. Motivated will get what they want. Okay, now I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna test your um, just like your I guess your thinking skills. Um, what would you do if you had found a stamped envelope on the side of the road? I would put it in the nearest post office box. Okay, good job. Now we're gonna test your um, cerebellar functioning. There's three general um. We've assessed your gait, we've assessed your balance, your stronger. I'm going to assess you, you again with tandem walking, okay? Okay. What you are going to do is take your arms out and just walk, put your heel to your toes. Just very good. You can turn around and do that. Good job. I'm then going to test um, an upper extremity. Okay, so here's pronation and then here's supination. I mean, you just go faster and faster. And then a lower extremity. I want you to put your heel to your shin and just run it up there. Good job. Okay. The next thing is your sensory functions. We have, we're going to test two sensory and three discriminatory, okay? okay? The first sensory function we're going to do is light touch. This is what it feels like. Okay. I'm going to get you to close your eyes. And each time I touch you, I want you to say now, okay? Okay. Now. 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 We're now going to test sharp and dull, okay? This is sharp, okay? This is dull, okay? Each time I touch you, I want you to tell me whether it's sharp or dull, okay? Sharp, dull, sharp, dull, <laughs> sharp, sharp, dull, dull, sharp, dull, dull. Good job. Okay, the next thing is the discriminatory, okay? okay. I'm going to test, um, the first thing is stereognosis. I'm going to place an object in each of your hands, one at a time. I want you to close your eyes, and I want you to tell me what that object is, okay? Okay. A coin. Good job. I'm going to test the other hand. Key. Good job. Okay, the next one is graphesthesia. I'm going to draw a letter in this hand and a number in this one. I want you to close your eyes and tell me what I'm drawing. Okay? You might need to Yeah. Okay. Okay? Okay. Good job. Now I'm going to test kinesthesia. Each time I touch you, I want you to, you to tell me what body part I'm touching, okay? Okay. Nose. Arm. <laughs> hand. Knee. Foot. Okay, good job. Okay, um, the next thing that I'm going to test, I'm going to go over the cranial nerves. I'm going to make sure that I've done all of those, okay? So cranial nerve one is olfactory. We did that with your smell test. Okay. Cranial nerve two is your optic nerve. Um, and we did that with when I um, tested your peripheral vision. Okay. Cranial nerve three is oculomotor. We tested that one. When I did the H in the air, cranial nerve four is, um, I think it's trigeminal. Let me make sure. Trochlear. I did that one with the H as well. Cranial nerve five is trigeminal nerve. Um, I tested that one when. Well, I don't know if I tested that one. Clench your jaw for me. Okay, and I'm palpating your T and J. Okay, okay. so that would be the trigeminal. Um, Cranial nerve six is abducens. Again, I tested that with the H. Um, cranial nerve seven is facial. I did that one. I got you to smile and frown for me. Cranial nerve eight is vestibular cochlear. We did that with the Romberg test. Cranial nerve nine is glossopharyngeal. Um, we would have done that with the gag reflex. Cranial nerve ten is the abducens. Again, I tested that one with the H. I'm sorry, accessory. That's accessory nerve. And I, te I tested that one. I got you to shrug your shoulders. That. No, that's, that's 11. And then cranial nerve 12 is hypoglossal with the tongue strength. Let me see what cranial nerve, um, vagus nerve. Cranial nerve 10 is the vagus nerve. And I got that when I got you to, um, Say ah, and we watch the uvula rise and fall. Okay, now we're going to move on to musculoskeletal system. Um, I'm going to 
get you to, let's see, I've already assessed your gait, I've watched you walk. Um, I want you to stand up, you just gonna look at your posture, bend over and touch your toes. Okay, I'm just gonna palpate your spine. Okay. Okay, good job. You can sit down. Okay, I'm going to test range of motion, okay? The first thing that I'm going to get you to do, I want you to do like this, back down, down, front of you. Okay, and then with your legs, just extend one leg at a time. Okay, and knee, pull knees up. Okay, now we're going to test it with resistance. Okay, hold your arms like this. Okay, I'm going to push you, and you need to push against me. Okay, and then we'll test your feet. Sorry, <laughs> pull back. Okay, push up. Okay, the next thing... Um, that we're going to do with the neuro system. I forgot to do your um, tendons, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and test those reflexes, okay? The first one I'm going to test is your triceps. <laughs> okay, I'm then going to test um, the brachioradialis. Check my sheet, make sure that I didn't miss anything. palpate your retropharyngeal lymph nodes, which is about right here. And then also I want to look at your conjunctive and make sure it's light. 